Hello everyone, this is Roman the Red back here with another episode of Foundation. Small recap. We have bad weather. And we're trying to get our project underway. Let's go. The massive monastery will be built in the coming days. Our happiness is finally very good. Some unemployment, that's perfectly fine. And uh, we're sitting pretty. Look, look, they're building. They're bringing equipment, stone, everything they need. Just look how much, how much equipment we require for this building project. So much, so much. So I also think we're buying glass, which is good. But we need so much polished stone, so much stone. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, insane. Let's give another job right there. Get that unemployed guy adding more stone for us. Oh. Let's go. Victorious, but we can do a one even better. We can charge once again with a success probability of extreme. Let's go. He's, this person's working hard, making us polished stone. We need more, more. I think I'll be getting this again. <laughs> Alright, well... I don't know if these planks are... In the project already? Yeah, yeah, okay. They are in the project already. So we have 200, 300 more planks. We'll, we'll complete this almost instantly. We just need people to actually uh, do that. We just got four villagers. Nice, nice. Give them some uh, menial jobs. Let's check. What can you give them to do? What, what, what can we make them to do? This warehouse is pretty much full with wool. Not good. Good that it's full. Not good that it's full. We have tons of material, but we're not using it. Because we don't have enough production set up. Clothes are improving. I think adding another weaver hut will be good. So let's uh, do that real quick. Weaver hut, weaver hut. There's room for that. There we go. We have the money. We're making a little bit of money back. Nice. Very good. How much is construction, though? Okay, we don't see the construction price yet. But this project costs probably so much money. And this is a little unnerving, too. Look at this. Look. Floating wagon. Oh. Look at this. Bruh. Floating building. We are losing money. That's completely fine, because we're going to make tons of money from our victory, our military mission. We have tons of stone. 300. Is Wait, isn't that much? Don't we need that much in order to actually build this? Yeah, we have enough stone. Okay, the builder is just going to constantly bring resources, which is perfect for us. Very perfect. We'll be using of everything. Everything will be built, placed, at least brought over here. They are starting some construction, a couple buildings here. But I'd prefer if they just bring everything over. And what does it mean by gold coins? Is that an item? At least tell me it's not an item. Because in order for that to, to be a thing, I need I need I'd need a gold smelter, and I don't have the other production building to make gold coin. Oh, uh, please tell me I don't need that. Doesn't tell me what building needs that. Let's check. The cross requires gold coins. Sorry, but we can't include that if we don't have the gold. So we just got tons of money. Very nice. Let's check this. I think there are some here that are set to none. There we go. Treasury. Come on, there must be one more at least. No? Did I miss it? Hmm. 
Hmm. It's not. But it looks symmetrical. It looks decent. It's not bad. Are these guys working? They're working fine. That's good. A little bit of clipping here and there, but it still functions as it should. Okay, okay. How are the outposts? People are buying fish. That's very good. I'm not sure where the worker is. I guess the worker doesn't actually have to be there. All he needs to do is supply fish. What? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, it's completely full. I might even think about getting a fish over here. But I want to get rid of the bread, so I kind of want to sell all the bread over here. And we're selling berries too. Uh, we can let the berries stockpile a little bit. I want you to sell some fish. Perfect. Make four, 500 gold. <laughs> That's insane. 500 gold a day. Bro. So good. So good. Right. So what's next? Is that logging camp gone? Somebody's still here. Not bad. Okay. I kind of think I should destroy this building and maybe move a logging camp over here. Our wood is pretty much full. Uh, yeah. It is... It is definitely full. These guys are working pretty hard. Pretty hard. They're all using up wood. But too bad I can't sell the wood by itself. Oh, there's not actually workers here. Uh, that's a small blunder. But now they should be getting to work now, which is good. I'll grab the wool, turn that into cloth. Yeah, wool's full. These guys aren't full yet, which is good. So now I have another worker. Hopefully it starts pulling that stuff. Let's see, we need iron now. So now that every, all the production's back up, coal is increasing. It seems we'll be running low on iron. I think that's okay, though. We need the tools, but we can wait some time. Let's see, how much do we actually need? It's almost another 50... 100, 130, about. Not bad. We can buy it. We have the money. We send them on another mission, our soldiers. Yeah, we can't do that. Hmm. I was going to say, if we send them on another mission, we'll get another, like, 3,000 gold. We can just buy up tons and tons of resources. Hey. I can't assign anybody? Because there's no monks. Huh. I don't think it's letting me can allow any or concede any villagers, even though I have the button. Unfortunate. I wanted to be beekeepers to work immediately. It seems like they'll have to wait till the rest of it is built. Yes. Is this diminishing? This is diminishing. Very good. I think it's just so there's so much of it because. Because of the rain. Okay. They are constantly selling. Which is good. We'll be up and down a little bit. We do a lot of trade. I think we're just... I don't know if we're buying tools. Let's check. Trade, resources... Buying common clothes. We don't need to do that anymore. We can sell common clothes. Let's sell 200. What else are we buying? Tools? We're buying 150 tools. I guess we're buying as much as we can get. That's pretty much <laughs> what costs us all, all of our money. 
glass. Do we already have 60? I'll have to check that. Swords, that's fine. So let's check. Glass, we already have 10. So we don't have to actually order any more glass. So let's cancel that order. Nope, you don't need any more. Perfect. We have 40. Eventually, they'll bring all the equipment over. We're getting these values up. Like, we only need 87 more tools. Planks are almost done. All stone is just going to be the big one. We need another 400 of that, or five, sorry, 600 of that. Everything else we have, I think. Or we will get soon. Faster than the stone. The stone is our small little bottleneck. Check what the envoy wants. Another little message from the king. Or, in general, message. 30 berries, we can do that. We're not selling them. It'll give us a little bit of money. Let's go clergy. Deliver those berries. Got a little bit of money. It doesn't really help us because it's going to go way, way too quick. It's not being stored. What is our residential space look like? It looks like it's high. Very good. That means we have empty spaces or spaces for people to live at. Employment is average. That's perfect. We don't have any more really really any more jobs to, to give people. We're just stabilizing our economy. Our jobs. Production chains. Look over here, it's no longer full. Which is very good. That means three of these is perfect. And we're constantly getting new villagers. Promotion available. Can I promote past a commoner? Promote to soldier. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Okay, okay. What happens if all of them are soldiers? Hopefully that wasn't a bad idea. I mean, I know I can't provide them with luxury goods. But let's check out the army now. I shrink this 30. I thought we had a 45 guy in here. Oh, he's wounded. Level 10 right here. Soldier level 10. What about other promotions? Anything else over here? Oh, it's a citizen. Okay. Not going to do that. Last time, last time, if you noticed, it wasn't very good. Put us back. It's like it's, it's like a send us to the Dark Ages. Just because we had to compensate everything that was going on. We had to increase production very quickly. I mean, now we have common clothes, and we are constantly selling that. Is that true? Let's check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, perfect. Still contemplating increasing our cheese production. We are constantly short on cheese like here we have zero cheese stored on construction monastery yes no workers assigned to what building to the statue purse area we can't assign workers here because you can't concede any and the berry hut i guess you can assign three workers to the berry hut it's perfectly fine with me and in that case the place that stores berries uh this guy over here oh they already have four oh these guys have four transporters dang they don't need to be there. Well, I mean, that's everybody. Storage full on bread, I assume. Yeah. Bread is pretty much completely full. And flour. I mean, I'm glad everything's full. A little bit. Um, I don't know how to remedy it. I mean, I can add more storage. It's probably the best way. I'm curious... Why they aren't sewing down here. Because my thought is, if they don't sew down here ever, I can assign another... Another granary. So I can store more food. And weeds, bread, everything we need. Okay. They're continuously going to work. How much will this cost me again? I don't really remember. Pretty sure it's an insane amount. But it should, I, I do remember, it does bring up my estate to the max. Wait. Oh. I guess all you need to do is have it sort of built. Because all you need is 10 monks. I only need 10 monks now and I unlock everything. Dang. 
Well. That's not really good. Because, uh. I kind of said that once I unlock this, I'm pretty much done. I don't really care about this trade bonus. Because there's nothing else really for me to unlock. I mean, I could just continuously build a village, but I think it's where it needs to be at the moment. I just want to complete this. This is going to be the end. Once this project's complete, everything is all set up. And I can just take a gander at the finished major project. Then I will be satisfied. But in the meantime... We're at max speed, and we're going to wait for that to finish. I could speed up the process, and I think I will, by building another builder. Just because this project is massive, insanely, insanely massive, I don't need that. That having multiple builders would be very useful. I might even build another builder. I'll just have a couple over here for now. This will assign the workers. If I need the workers for anything else, I'll gladly remove them. Give them other jobs. But in the meantime, they can just take over this and assist in the production of the monastery. I will be gladdened. Still can't concede anybody. Unfortunate. Check to see our soldiers. So they're all still wounded. Unfortunate. Not good for us. Eventually, they'll be all right, and I can send them on, on another mission. But they're all soldiers now, which means they're insanely powerful. And I have nothing to fear from that mission. Five builders working. Now, this this is why I have all these builders. They're all going to assist with the project and speed it up tremendously. So we have a lot of these materials. We'll get the planks very soon. We're readily using for anything else. The tools are literally almost here. We have glass. These gotta move some materials. And stone. I think we have all the stone. We just need polished stone, which will take a little bit, as I mentioned previously. But they're working pretty hard. I mean, I can probably add another one. Just to amp up production a little bit more. Like so. This area is free real estate. Nobody's building anything. I mean, nobody's gonna be living down here, I don't think. So we should be perfectly fine. What is this? Oh, the monastery. Yeah, let's not have that there anymore. They'll build this up. And then we can speed up the polished stone production a little bit. It's not going to be it's not gonna too much of an impact. Because it's still one person working. And as you can see, they're still taking quite a bit to actually produce something. Okay, almost done, almost done. So we keep getting new villagers. I'm not going to promote them. So my happiness is still going to be above 90. But as you can see, the monastery is continuously being, being built. It's actually making a lot of progress. A lot of the foundations are being set up. Aha, uh -huh, foundation. And there's, there's some floating things, but they'll be remedied, hopefully, by the completion of the monastery. Hope it doesn't remain like that. This thing needs cloth. We have tons of cloth. Whoa, okay. This is filling up pretty very very, very fast. This is unfortunate that the trader, when he shows up, he only buys like let's say 50 clothes. Like, come on, just bring like a donkey or something and a cart and just take up everything to my limit. Why would you wait? Why would you take so little? Usually you'd want a surplus of some sort. Okay, perfect. Perfect. They're moving the glass. 20 left. Instant storage. And we're still buying up tools, which is very good. So this is done. This is actually complete. I think... Trade-wise, for tools... I'm going to set this to 50. Could keep it 150 and probably start doing burial production. But I don't really want to go down that route. There's no real need to keep these people happy anymore. I have every, everyone I need. We have 81 serves, so that keeps my happiness up. And speaking of happiness, I mean, I can check these people and see who's doing the worst. 
the miners, of course. They're far from their homes, but they're all serfs. They can easily be replaced. So there isn't much of an issue. The only, only problem is I'm getting tons of villagers. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. That's in the ground. I, th I thought I fixed that. I thought everything looked nice. Please don't tell me this is going to remain standing. Missing raw resources. Yes, the iron is going to keep being low. Can't do much about that. Okay. What's the fish looking? I've been selling fish. We're running low. We're running low. Not bad. We'll cancel soon this guy over here from selling fish. Set him back to bread because we still have a surplus of that. But everybody should have food in their bellies. Dang, I hope this monk, like, does something, man. Hopefully he helps. Whoa, that's building is really quick. Whoa, that was super duper fast. I can see somebody now. Nope. I think I need to build like this thing right here. Larger section, or at least this one. One of these. I think this is extension A, and then this one's the actual monastery building that I need. Oh, and that was the herbalist. Yes. So we're gonna have tons of more resources. I don't know if I need another storage. Building. I could quickly add one. Warehouse. Let's do that. Old over here. Pretty far away. So I'm going to go build that. We'll set, I think, grapes. I don't know if it'll think of grapes to be a food. You, I mean, in real life, you can eat grapes normally. But in this game, I think it wants to take grapes and immediately turn them to wine. So I don't know if he can just eat grapes plain. But I'm pretty sure I need to store the herbs and the honey separately in the storage, the warehouse. We'll see. How many people are working? Two people. We have nine builders, I think. Sweet people are lazy. They're lazy. They don't want to work. They should constantly come and assist me with my job. Okay, still a lot of wounded. Keep waiting. Don't want to risk my villagers losing their lives. Or soldiers losing their lives in battle. Whoa, okay, berries. Cool, cool. Because they're selling berries again. We have two berry farmers. Or gatherers. There's a long walk. But we have four transporters here, so it should be perfect. What about this guy? Oh, berries full there too. Okay, I think we actually have to start selling. It's going to be full soon. Change this to berries. Keep the fish. Let the fish fill up in the other granary in the south. And we'll be selling it later. Alright. With that, I'd like to conclude this video. We're making progress again. Increase some production here. Started building our monastery it's been made a lot of progress in the beginning of the video it was all the stakes earlier and now it's actually has some buildings here and there some production buildings such as such as the vine vineyard the beekeepers so it's making some progress i like that any progress is good progress only thing we're lacking on is the iron and there's no real way to remedy it, remedy that besides going all the way over here and mining iron. Too long a walk for me. This is already too far. So I think we're just going to not go there. And just conclude the the whole series in this plot here. I might add some more. But there's really no need to. Nothing else catches my eye that I need to grab up. Yeah, so if you like the video, slap the like button. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.